Bonjour, bonjour. Euh, bonjour. Euh, comment fait-on pour vivre à, à Montréal pendant plus de 14 ans et parler euh, un français qui est très approximatif? I, can you redo that in English? Because I, I want to make sure I understand your question before I, I respond to it. Ouais. As, I said, as I said in the speech, uh, my comprehension is not as good as I'd like it to be. Quand vous avez été embauché, vous avez dit que votre, anglais était, votre français était fonctionnel. Je, je préfère que votre euh, attaché traduise. Je pense qu'il a adressé la question de la langue un petit peu plus tôt aussi dans son allocution. Alors, si on peut passer à d'autres questions. Peut-être une dernière question par rapport à ça. Le premier ministre a trouvé ça inacceptable que vous ne soyez pas capable de parler français. Est-ce que vous avez des regrets, à tout le moins, de ne pas avoir appris français durant les années que vous êtes Si vous me about my French, uh, I would love to be able to speak French. Um, a lot of my family has a French background. But right now, my priority is ensuring that Air Canada gets back to where they were. Because Air Canada provides so much, so much in economic uh, and cultural benefits to the province of Quebec and the city of Montreal. That is my priority right now. And I can tell you, if you look at my work schedule, you'd understand I don't, you know, right now, that's what I need to focus on. Because that's the most important thing right now, is to get Air Canada back to where it was. Mais ça fait 14 ans, Monsieur Rousseau, vous parlez. On a adressé parler. cette question. On va essayer de passer à d'autres questions. It's been 14 years you're in Montreal. How, how, can you, how can you live in Montreal without speaking French? Is it easy? I've been able to live in Montreal without speaking French. Um, and I think that's a testament to the city of Montreal. Merci well. beaucoup. On va passer à d'autres questions, s'il vous plaît. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres journalistes qui ont d'autres questions? Monsieur Rousseau, that, you know, airlines right now are in customer business services. That's right. We've always been in the customer service business, but I think I think we need to to re to recommit to that. To that. My, my question is, over the last decade or so, even more, you know, Air Canada has been criticized more than once by the office of the commissioner of the official languages. By being in the customer service businesses, Is that a part of the company where you do need to put more of an effort given you know, the status of the company? I can tell you that Air Canada is completely deeply committed to the Official Language Act and providing all our customers with, with both languages, whichever they choose. We spend tens and tens of millions of dollars training flight attendants and others on being able to speak both languages. And I think we do, frankly, a great job. And, um, We are for, by far the largest airline in, in Canada, so we will get, you know, probably a few more complaints than others. But if you look at the number of complaints compared to 51 million people that we that we put on our planes every year, then I think you'll find that our rate is very, very low. And we, I, and I commit to you, we will continue to improve. Merci uh, but but I, year over year, the Merci number beaucoup. of complaints doesn't go down. So. Well, so. year over year, the number of passengers go up. So we've we've increased uh, considerably over the last five or five or ten years, and so the fact that customer complaints on this issue have remained relatively stable, to me that is a good sign that we're making the, the right success. So, Mr. Yeah, so yesterday on the business front, yesterday uh, Air Canada suspended uh, 800 employees uh, for not being fully vaccinated. Uh, you did this amidst uh, a labor shortage that you have going on. Can you explain this move? Well, safety has been always our top priority. And uh, public safety has been our top priority. And the you know, safety of our employees and our customers have always been our top priority. Uh, the federal government uh, put a new, new policy in that customers and employees need to be vaccinated as of October 30th. And we followed that policy, uh, but it's consistent with our our value, that safety is, is, is the key objective for us. You also just spoke about the fact that, that Ottawa helped you out to the tune of $4 billion, and that's money you haven't used. And right now, Air Canada is surprisingly flush with cash, according to results yesterday, including $12 billion, including that $4 billion. So I guess the question a lot of taxpayers have is, are you going to return that money? We're going to... Uh work on whether that makes sense, uh, but certainly that's under consideration um, as, as we go forward. Um, first of all, they haven't given us $4 billion. dollars. They've given us the ability to borrow $4 billion. dollars. So the taxpayer has not given us one dollar yet. They give, the government of Canada has told us that if we want to borrow some of the $4 billion, we have the opportunity to. 
but we have not, as, as of to date, have borrowed any of that money. So going forward, there are challenges, including you've had to cancel some flights uh, because you don't have uh, uh, always enough uh, employees on them. Uh, air tra travel has not returned fully. Uh, do you anticipate that you might need to use this money going forward? As I said in my presentation, we do not anticipate we're, we will use this money, but it is a good insurance because when we put it in place back in April, we didn't know which way the pandemic was going. We're a lot smarter now, you know, eight months uh, post, post April. We like what we see. We like the signs of recovery. We like the bookings coming in. We like the increased number of customers. So we're getting much more comfortable that the recovery is in place and that we will but over the next couple of years, get back to where we were in 2019. Given the state of the recovery, do you regret not uh, going ahead with the Transat deal? The Transat deal had many different elements uh, that factored into our decision to to uh, to uh, to terminate uh, the arrangement. And so, um, I don't look back and and, and regret anything. Uh, we have so much opportunity in front of Air Canada right now to deliver a better customer experience, to deliver more routes around the world to Canadians and, and Quebecers. And so that's our focus right now, is, is making Air Canada the strongest possible company. Okay, now I just want to know if you have a response to, uh, you, you have, do you have a response to the Premier who said uh, not speaking uh, any French here was unacceptable? What do you tell Premier Legault about this? We already addressed the question. Uh, we already addressed the question. Thank you. Thank you.